So, on the build up to the day, the, the Balamina game, I don't, I don't really remember a lot to be honest. Um, I think I knew I wasn't starting. Owen had said to me, um, it was, what was I playing my part, but it was, I think Big James had started. Um, so, again, he was in good form, so I wasn't, he, wasn't, he, wasn't he too happy. And my mum and dad and stuff, my best friend was there, so, um, it was just good. I was just happy to see them. I hadn't seen them for ages, so um, it was good to get them along to the game. So I was kind of more excited about just them coming to the game and, and meeting some of the fans and the board and stuff and sitting up at the boxes and stuff like that. So um, that was kind of, I remember travelling to the game um trying to get them sorted out, a few people looking after them and stuff. And um, I just remember, again, Owen said to me, go and get ready and then and coming on. So it was, it, was, um, it was good for them to see that, although it wasn't very long, but Aye, it was it was it was a good kind of a good game for them to witness. Being there at that time, obviously a derby and it being Balamina and, and obviously the fans being there as well. So no, it was it was good and pff, again, I think everyone kind of enjoyed it. So is it the biggest derby I've been involved in? Um, yeah, probably up there. Um. A game when I was younger, Dundee United, Dundee Derby's, but there weren't there, it was just team stuff like that, so it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't massive, so I'd probably say, Ballam, well, Derry and Finn Harps as well, that's, that was up there, but, um, now in terms of kind of intensity and rivalry, I think, I think it probably takes it. Can't remember the goals and the crowd reaction. First one, I remember just trying to kind of take a chance, um, I think, I said they just launched it length of the part to be honest and, and at a quick glance I knew the keeper was coming out so if I could get it round him then I might have a good chance and, and luckily he kind of came flying out and I managed to knock around him. I think they got a penalty anyway because he took me out but getting up I, I was going to shoot and then the guy came flying in and I thought I just need to kind of try and get back in, in line with the goal so I chopped inside him and then the ball in your line just had to hit it. I think he'd try and get it away anyway so um, I can't remember that and then as soon as that went in I think the whole team got a bit of a belief that the fans gave us a lift and then I think the, the whole place I get as I said just lifted so um, then in the second goal I think it wasn't a far off kick off was it? it must have been kind of sharpish off kick off so I think it was more of a just getting the box again I remember Jamie getting the line and, and I think we'd done it kind of previously the week before against Glen Afton it's kind of something similar, James Dillon battled it across and I knew I had to just try and get to the front post. I think everyone expected him to lift it, so I knew he was kind of probably going to smash it across the front, so that's what I did. I gambled and I remember, I, I, I remember kind of heading towards the fans, Jamie tackling me and I just remember a big pile up, but I'll, I'll never forget the video after I all run on the lane for the park and, and kind of just jumped on top of me, so um, no, that was that's that's a very good memory. Um, I'll, I'll never forget that. It was everyone was off the bench that day, so no, it was, it was good. It was good. Corinne got a oh, they got a Balamina unboxing day. Really okay. Um, obviously for the fans, they're one of the best groups of fans I've ever been involved with. Um, they were always great with myself. Obviously being a kind of boy from Scotland and, and not originally being from there. Um, always got on well with everyone I spoke to, the staff and everyone around the club were always great. Really enjoyed my time there, so obviously just kind of keep up, keep up what they're doing. They, they give the club a big lift, even if they don't kind of recognise it, it's, it's, it's nothing without them. So um, no, I think I think it's a, it's a big lift that they give them and, and I think it's just the kind of 12 man, the old cliche that the fans are 12 man, but I, I genuinely think that they give the, the boys a hand and Against, especially in, in derbies against rivals, you just kind of need that extra boost sometimes and the crowd can give it. Also, they can they can kind of take away a spirit with, with a bad reaction, but I think um, Korean fans have always been great regardless of the result. So, um, no, I would just say to them to kind of keep up what they're doing and do I still follow the results? I do. Um, I always like to see them doing well. I've always followed Orden, even when they come over here to St Mum. So I talked to a few of the boys, young London. Um, he's always been a good friend and... To be fair, you should never lose a header with the size of Quiff, so surprised if he ever does. Um, so I'll speak to Brad and a few of the other boys. So no, it's, it's it's good to always see him doing well and and kind of chase him over the last couple of years and and just kind of obviously winning the league cup the year after I left, which was which was amazing to see. I tried to go over for the game, but couldn't make it unfortunately. So I've always been invited back by on and a few of the other staff. So hopefully one day I'll get back over soon. Um, my short time at the club. 
obviously it was most of the season, but again, playing with some of the players and, and just playing at different grounds, playing with different fans and stuff. I was staying there myself, getting to the League Cup final was was a massive experience for me. Um, and just, uh, no, I really enjoyed it, I think. Had I not had kind of stuff at home, then I'd have probably stayed another year if, if it had me, but I thought part-time and just going home would be a better option for myself. So no, I never regret anything, and I think that was a great decision for for myself to go there. Obviously, we help a Kenny on at the time, but no, no, I think um, I think it was one of the kind of better teams that I've played for and better spells in my career. So um, no, I really enjoy it. I look back and fond fond memories. So um, all the best, boys, and I hope he's doing Boxing Day.